I am Rapid. With me is Fourth Oracle, and we're going to be covering this series for the National ESL TV. So thanks for tuning in. And it looks like first ban of the day going out to Big Fat LP. What is he going to pick up? And this is going to answer the question that you asked a little bit earlier, Fourth Oracle. What is CLG going to be banning out? Everybody's lightning bolts for me right now, so I'm not sure if they're just you know waiting an extra long time to pick their first ban, and they ban Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, no so, surprise there. I'm a cutie pie is so, so strong with Twitch. And again, a Twisted Fate ban from Dignitas. They just don't want to deal with that global map pressure. Uh, we saw a couple of times that it sort of assisted it sort of assisted their strategy. They ran Katarina, they let her gank over and over and over again. Twisted Fate just uh, they didn't have Twisted Fate, they didn't have a mid that could really follow her, and she just wrecked everything. Uh, do you think they might go for something similar this time? Definitely a possibility, but I think that what's more likely here is, especially now that we see the bans coming out, and once again, like you mentioned, that Twisted Fate ban coming out, uh, they're banning out Vayne as well, so that could say that they don't want to face a lot of split pushing opportunities, and they don't want to give double lift to Vayne. These are very targeted bans. A Big Fat LP, one of the strongest Twisted Fates in North America, and so they're they're really kind of targeting their bans. Twisted Fate against Big Fat, Vayne against double lift, because he's just... It's just, it's not, it's not right. I mean, double lift, it, it's like it's vain being, you know, played, playing double lift as a champion because he's just so good. Lee Sin banned out against Shouser because it's one of his strongest junglers. Uh, he is new to the jungle. Uh, I mean, he's been jungling a lot uh, before this, but uh, one of his strongest junglers. Don't want that there. And so Twitch versus I'm a, Cute, or I'm a Cutie Pie being banned out. Diana, not somebody that, I guess... Uh, Big Fat wants to play against, and then the Malphite band, kind of classic, want to deny that. But uh, Shen being first picked here by CLG actually does say, hey, we do want to go for that split pushing. Um, we do want to have that option available. So it does look like that could be Jungle Shen, but most likely going to see him top. It'll be interesting, interesting to see where CLG do decide to put them. And that's going to be the next couple of picks. Uh, the bottom lane completely chosen there by uh, CLG. What do you see coming out here from Dignitas as they're looking to pick up their next couple champions? Well, they're going to have to have some sort of wave clear, clearly, because CLG is going for some incredible wave clearing and pushing potential, not just from Shen, but from Ezreal and from Lulu, the True Shot Barrage and the Q coming out from Lulu. Those will both be able to clear up minion waves so ridiculously fast. So Dignitas has to have something. Oriana might be a good pickup here uh, to clear out waves from a very safe distance and maybe even counteract some of the poke that will be coming out from the tower sieges that are pretty inevitable from CLG. Yeah, and I think that towers are something that CLG is so focused on. Uh, whether you see them make excellent comebacks down, I think there's like 3 to 24 in MLG Anaheim that came back and won just because of their focus on taking turrets, pushing down lanes, and securing those objectives. It's something they have a lot of in their team composition. And here are the last two picks. This is going to be what it's all about. What are they going to go for? I don't think it's going to be brand. I uh, don't see a lot of brands like, coming out these days. Chogath is the pick. And so Chogath, like I mentioned, could go top for Hotshot, something he's played a lot of recently, but also could could go in the jungle, something that Shouser uh, is very familiar with playing as well. So it'll be interesting to see what they do go for. Still locking in the brand, or just not locking it in, but having that uh, chosen. I, I'm not sure because like the great thing about being Dignitas in this situation, they get to pick their very last. They're going to get a chance to counter whoever you do send mid. And brand definitely is someone who's very easily countered. Uh, looks like they're switching through a uh, last couple of champions, but it does look like it's going to be a Nivea Cho'Gath. I love the Nivea pick just because it allows exactly what you said, so much wave clear. And then Cho'Gath, really great at clearing waves as well. So a lot of pushing potential here coming out from CLG. Yeah, absolutely. I also like the sort of defensive line that they're running for, Ch uh, not Chowser, excuse me, uh, Chowser right now as Ezreal selected. Uh, but double lift, he's going to have a huge defensive line. You have the wall from Anivia, you have the slow, of course, rupture, silence from Cho'Gath, just all of this massive CC is going to keep double lift so very, very safe on top of the arcane shift. They can push towers pretty fearlessly because if Dignitas ever decides to try to jump onto Ezreal, they have all of that peel. It's through the roof. Now, Dignitas, oh, if they actually picked Renekton, I would be so pleased, but no. Uh, Renekton mid, not usually something they want to do. Gragas would be a really nice pickup in this case because he will be able to clear out waves just about as well as Anivia thanks to that barrel roll. I like that pickup a lot. 
Yeah, and even uh, some, something we haven't seen a lot of is Gragas. With the new changes to DFG, it doesn't give you cooldown reduction. It doesn't give you as much damage up front. Uh, I haven't been seeing a lot of Graguses. And one of the things that is being substituted here, and I know Voiboy loves to play this when he plays top lane Gragas, is going for that Athene's Unholy Grail first. It gives you the CDR. It gives you the sustain in lane. You don't even need the blue buff, and it still allows you to have all of that damage and mobility from Body Slam and all the cooldowns that you do need. So probably going to see that out of Skara, but a really interesting pickup. He's going to need to get his damage from other sources. Might still go ahead and pick up that Deathfire Grass, but uh, it's going to be interesting. It has the wave clear that you did mention he needed earlier on and has a lot of possibilities to uh, go ahead and pick up actually kills on Anivia, which is not the, something that a lot of AP mids can do just because of how aggressively she does push out that lane. So an interesting choice here from Dignitas, but with a 5-1 for Katarina in his last game, I'm going to be really interested to see what Scar can do here with that Gragas. Yeah, absolutely. Picking the Gragas did one other thing, though. We're really ha harping on this Gragas pick, but it's because it's so integral to Dignitas' team composition and the way it counters CLG. The other thing it does is it compl is the explosive cast can completely split up CLG. It'll allow for a pick, even though CLG has such massive uh, peeling potential. Yeah, and that's something that's going to be huge for double lift. And he's bringing cleanse, so he's going to have that available. I can say that because we took down the summoner blockers. I know people are like, well, why do you talk about summoners when there's summoner blockers up? I mean, it's not like it's guaranteed, but we're into the three minute spectator delay, so it's all good. Cleanse on double lift. He's going to have peel not only from the team members around him, but also from that and, oh wait, Arcane Shift and Flash and Ezreal just being completely unstoppable. Uh, reminds me of. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know where I was going with that. But like you said, confirmation, yes, it's going to be massive peel, massively hard to catch double lift. And whenever you can't stop the AD carry from dealing damage, you're going to have a bad time. But speaking of AD carries, it's going to be, once again, not the new new support, but it's going to be Sona with Draven there in that bottom lane or possibly top if they decide to go for a 1v2. I'm going to ask you, Fourth Oracle, what do you think about the 1v2 possibilities here? It would be a Shen solo lane uh, 1v2 versus uh, Olaf. I know Olaf does well, but how do you feel about that? Hmm. I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it. Let's see. Draven, League of Draven and Sona going up against Shen. I like those odds for Draven just because they have so much damage output. They'll be able to shut down uh, Shen a decent amount early on. Uh, but we see, yeah, double lift going Ezreal, Lulu against... Yeah, against Olaf. I gotta say, I think Olaf is going to be able to farm a lot better just because of that undertow. He'll be able to pick up a decent amount of CS even if the lane is going the absolute worst that it could possibly be. Again, everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is the Rockat King of the Hill. I am 4th Oracle, I am joined by Rapid, and in about 30 seconds we are going to be getting into the first match of this best of three series between CLG, the defending kings of the hill, and the, uh, their uh, opposition, Dignitas, trying to dethrone them. We're going to run a quick 30 second commercial break, and then we will be back with the game all loaded and ready for all of you to enjoy. Let's go ahead and run those ads, and I'll see you all in a second. For those of you who are tuning in through the VODs, welcome. Hope you enjoy. And to, and to those of you who are scumbags and run ad block, you suck. And you deserve horrible things to happen, like everything that you know and love. Not really, but... <laughs> It's still pretty bad. So, I mean, if you guys want to see more games like this, more awesome uh, content coming out here from the NASL, go ahead and either disable Adblock or just don't have it in general and uh, continue to support us, give us some revenue, and that helps us you know, promote more League of Legends content, which hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you want to give us feedback, you can go ahead and uh, let me know at Rapid Transit 24-7 on Twitter, and it's at 4th Oracle for my wonderful co-caster. Let us know what we can do to improve. We're always trying to bring you guys the very best League of Legends content we can give you. Hopefully Dignitas for CLG is something that you guys are interested in. I know I'm excited for this. It looks like uh, going through the skins. It's Gragas, Esquire, Silent Knight, Sona, Soul Reaver, Draven, Nunubot, 
and Glacial Olaf. Surprised to see uh, Crumbs not running Broloff, but uh, here we go. We are into the game. If you're just now joining us, thanks for tuning. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I was I just getting hyped, man. I was like, oh my goodness, we're into CLG for D and there's a pause. I, so I love I love the way your voice just like downturned, like all your hopes and dreams just got <laughs> crushed. Well, like it okay, was so sad. You're you're like a you're like a puppy. It's just like, oh no ball. Or like no, oh I'm no like dinner. I'm like an onion. I have layers. We've discussed this. I'm like I'm like like Gragas. I think Gragas has layers too. There's, <laughs> layers, there's layers of something going on there. Although I'm not quite just like Gragas. Uh, Cutie Pie is typing some characters I don't understand. How you do that, I don't know. He does, and he knows a lot of things, including how to play Draven. So, okay, I'm going to try this again, all right? You ready? Uh, no pausing this time. I'm actually going to get back up to live, so you, we'd have to go back up to live because there was a pause, so that kind of throws things yeah. off a little bit. Uh -oh. But Things are going weird. Back. Things are going weird. I don't know what's happening to... Okay, there we go. There we go. Fix it. All right. So all right. our camera was being a little bit buggy, but we're good. Uh, haven't missed any action at all. We do see CLG grouping up down next to their raids, expecting some sort of warding, I suppose. I will dominate and move in. Yes, indeed. New new bot throws down ward. Happy times were had by all, uh, except for CLG, because that ward's not really going to be in their favor. They'll see exactly when Chouster, who is going to be playing jungle Cho'Gath, uh, goes for those raids going to be able to stop those ganks prematurely. Yeah, and so really great ward positioning. You can see, what is that? One, two, three wards placed out by by uh, Dignitas already here for the level one. I actually minimized my uh, mini map, so I'm going to have to make that big again. But we're back, and uh, really great vision. They want to make sure that nothing crazy happens level one. Whenever you throw out extensive ward coverage early on in the game, you're looking to secure that map presence, that map awareness, so that... You have control over what happens. If you want to go for an invade, you have a lot more uh, room to work with just because you have perfect positioning on your opponents. In this case, it looks like for Dignitas, they're just kind of setting things up for a relatively normal start, it looks like. Although it does look like, yeah, they're going to give uh, Patoy helping out Dominate. And there is Crumbs taking the Wraith Camp, actually, at level 1. So he's going to get an early level 2 versus Hotshot. Yeah, what I think is really interesting is the way Crumbs built, built that cloth armor right off the bat instead of going uh, for the boots. That's, that allowed him to take the raids. He's going to come to lane much healthier than he otherwise would. In fact, it's going to let him take mini golems. Holy cow, Crumbs just is going to have a huge advantage coming into lane against Hotshot. Yeah, you'll notice he only has a couple potions and now only one uh, potion there because he did start with cloth three potions and awards so that was a really interesting start from him it allowed him to get that jungle and now he's all, he's coming into lane at level two like what is this i've not seen this in a very long time i know um who was the first guy i saw doing this a tgf freddy from team green forest was one of the first people that decided hey if you take jungle come into lane super fast you can actually get a really fast level wow. two and then crush your lane and yeah wow is right that's a lot of damage that double lift, getting chunked down to below half health, already forced to chug one of his health potions. I'm a cutie pie, doing pretty well right now, but we may see a gank coming into mid lane from I Will Dominate. He's going to come in from way behind, Big Fat. This is not looking good. He... Wait. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> he did not level Ice Blast. <laughs> That Why was would you possibly not steal ice blast. <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic gank I have ever seen in my life. And here comes <laughs> Chouster to show how it's done. Maybe not. Okay. I was just gonna waddle in. Oh, these <laughs> ganks. These ganks are amazing. This is, this is like the, the most, most amazing I've ever seen. Like, what do you do against this? You just you just stand there, just like, oh, but it turns out you just counter jungle the red buff. And it looks like there's no red buff on Dominate. He's a little bit faster, but he's gonna take a lot of damage, a lot of CC, and now Chouster actually is zoning out completely this red buff. And now Scar jumping on a big fat. Big fat does have an egg up and so Scar's gonna have to back out of here. The rupture does not land. Body slam slamming Scar way out of there and now it looks like Aster CLG completely completely solidifies this red. They're going to be able to take this down. Will they give this to Hotshot or Chouster? I think Chouster already has one. Giving this to Hotshot would make it really rough for Crumbs in the early game, but Crumbs is level 4, almost halfway to level 5, and uh, Hotshot with only level 3. Crumbs is going to start to be a monster as he continues to keep that level advantage. I'll have to see if they can really turn it into anything. He only has one health potion left on him, though. Shen still has, uh, being played by Hotshot, of course, still has three 
Chalster waiting in the bushes might be coming in for a gank against Crumbs to try and shut down that level advantage. No, Crumbs' spider sense is tingling, or a uh, Viking sense. In the meantime, though, bot lane, Loco Doku getting jumped up by I Will Dominate. He finally has the Ice Blast, and the last auto attack from him will give him first blood. Not giving that one to I'm a Cutie Pie. Maybe a bit of a mistake, but it will allow him to pick up his gold pretends that much earlier. Yeah, there's actually a little bit of a question among a lot of different uh, servers about who you do want to give kills to. And North America thinks that it's really bad to give it to support, but there are a lot of uh, Korean teams that love to give it over to support. As far as giving it to the jungler's concerned, like you mentioned, early gold per fives are really going to help set Nunu ahead, because Nunu is one of those double gold per five jungles, that, like Shogath is as well, where you can go ahead, pick up those, and that allows you a lot more extra ward coverage. But uh, what's going to happen top lane is we're going to have Chouster coming in behind Crumbs, the ignite goes down. Hotshot taking a lot of damage. The taunt goes off. Crumbs getting silenced. He's not going to be able to drop the true damage down, or will he? No, he will not. The red buff taking down. The rupture lands, and Shouts is going to pick up the first kill of the game for Counter Logic Gaming. No, that was an excellent, excellent job baiting in by Hotshot. The silence was really excellent too, helped shut down those undertoes, so the damage from Crumbs wasn't nearly where it needed to be to finish off Hotshot and the Vorpal Blade really allowed him to give him the health that he needed to continue onward. I will dominate coming in for a gank on Cho'Gath even though there's no one there. I guess he was thinking he could just soak up a little bit of EXP, but no, the lane is just pushed up a little too far. Too scared of uh, red buff Chowster, I believe. He did have double buff for a little while, but the blue buff has timed out. And in fact, blues will be spawning very, very shortly. It's going to be really scary for both Big Fat and Skara as soon as those blue buffs get donated. Yeah, you notice Shouster actually turning off his Vorpal Spikes because he wanted to make sure he didn't shove the lane out too much. It's pushing into Hotshot's turret, so he's just going to freeze it there. But uh, speaking of freezing, Shouster kind of froze it up here in the top lane. Camping this really hard, and they're going to go for another kill. There is the Rupture landing on to Crumbs. The slow goes down, and Crumbs is so dead right now. I mean, Dominate's going to try to come in here and save this, but Crumbs, yeah, there's just no chance. And that is absolutely horrible for Dignitas. You know, that's going to put Chaucer so much farther ahead of I Will Dominate. We see Chaucer just at level 6, going to be building up those feast stacks as quickly as possible. Going to help him out a massive amount. And of course, he was also soaking up the EXP from the top lane. New Scar might get aggressive on the Big Fat, though. There's a nice burst from both of them. There's the explosive cask, not really knocking Big Fat where he wanted him. Chaucer's coming around from behind. Body slams over the wall. Try to get the safety. Red buff is applied just before it ticks off. Flash away from Scar, gonna keep him away from that rupture. In the meantime, bot lane, we have the engagement. Look at the find Genius Little flash in from Mama Cutie Find. He picks up that kill. But now Double If might be able to turn it around. No defense from Patoy right there to keep his AD carry safe. Welcome to the League of Draven, except that it's the League of Cho'Gath, apparently, because the rupture. Nope, <laughs> rupture misses, not the League of Cho'Gath. Not gonna be able to pick up Patoy. Big Fat can't quite get into range to land his Flash Frost and Frostbite. Just frost all over the place. No, Big Fat going to shift back over to the mid lane, which Skara has managed to push up quite effectively, getting himself about a 10 CS gold lead. Yeah, so Lokuto actually flashed after the auto attack from Draven was already in the air. That's uh, not going to be what you want to see just because, hey, you know, flash, not something you want to just kind of throw out there. So unfortunately, that's uh, not going to be up for Lokodoko. going to be down for the next 200 seconds. And that's going to make him that much more of a target. I mean, Lula's cool because she has a lot of different CC options. But really, when you don't have Flash in her, and especially going up against such a successful jungle as uh, Dominate, it's not going to be what you want to see. It's 2-2 two two as far as kills are concerned. So both mid laners will have their blue buff. And they're just going to walk back into lane. Uh, Egg is still up for Anivia. She does have her uh, Chalice of Harmony, just picking that up, and it's going to be double Dorans for Skara, so he's looking to have that extra AP for that wave clear, so he can go ahead and start shoving things against Anivia, which is not a sentence you actually say that often. Absolutely not. In the top lane, Crumbs just hit level 6. He'll be hitting level 7 in just a moment. He was forced to back away from that. We see the CS difference between the two of them, just about 10. Not quite as much as you'd expect for how well Hotshot has been doing, but then you look over at Chaucer, he has two kills for himself. That is huge. He is, how much gold does he have compared to Nunu right now? It's actually very, very even uh, because of that first blood from I Will Dominate. Only about 100 gold difference. So obviously, Dignitas 
even though it sort of felt like their top lane wasn't really doing as well as they wanted it to, they are still definitely in this game when it comes to top lane. Yeah, top lane, you can see that early advantage, the experience advantage that Crumbs had really mitigated just because Chaster camped him so hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hotshot ahead in that department, and uh, now he's just freezing lane in front of this tournament, just farming it out. Doesn't really want to fight, even though he is so far ahead of Crumbs, who really only has a Philosopher's Stone cloth armor and no boots yet. So he desperately needs to buy, desperately needs to pick up some of this gold and stop Hotshot from just freezing this lane and keeping him from really doing anything in that top lane. So Chouster came in for a gank in the bottom lane, but a nice stand aside from Ami Cutie Pie kept him perfectly safe. And now, yep, mid, they haven't really gotten aggressive on each other. Skara can't really get aggressive on Big Fat because, you know, Big Fat has egg. Wow, that is a very strange phrase when you think about it. <laughs> Big Fat has egg. Uh, but Big, uh, Big Fat LP doesn't want to get too aggressive on Skara either because Skara's going to be able to burst back. Um, right now, a little bit harder thanks to those double Dorans rings that he decided to build. So there's no real point in either of them getting aggressive on each other quite yet. Yep, I will dominate thinking about coming in for a gank. He has been spotted by a ward, but Chowser's here to turn it around. Both of them have red buff. I will dominate getting completely bursted down. There's a stun. Nice explosive. Cast is actually going to put Big Fat LP in a nice position. Flop Frostbite. Ignite is not enough. And now Scar going for Big Fat does get egged. Again, what a strange phrase. Red buff applied onto Skara, and he is running for his life back to tower. Rebirth finished on Big Fat. He's looking for a Flash Frost. Is going to land it, but not going to be nearly enough to finish off Skara. Almost a very good counter gank, but I will dominate, barely getting out of there with his life, and in the end, Rebirth is now down for Big Fat. And Skara I mean might be in a good spot to try and kill her, but Big Fat and Chowser are pushing down this mid tower rather hard. Yeah, Scar's out of mana, so he can't get that done. Something I do mm -hmm. want to point out in that uh, situation is that uh, Big Fat actually flashed over the explosive cast so that it would push him closer to try to pick up the kill onto Nunu. Unfortunately, just didn't get in range, so that's a little bit rough. And now Chowster trying to get the knockup. He does land the <laughs> rupture on Dominate, but just not enough damage. No, they can't quite dive yet. Wow, I'm a cutie pie pushing this lane very hard. That's something we didn't consider is... Doublelift may have his true shot barrage, but we have Whirling Death from I'm a Cutie Pie to sort of counter push that. Ooh, Patoy over the wall. Wow, the burst damage is huge. No, they can't get the kill. And no, they're just going to tank a couple of Tower Bolts. Loco Doco going to be forced back. I'm a Cutie Pie does not have his Whirling Death available. He already used it. Flash in, and the auto attack is going to follow Loco Doco all the way back. In the meantime, mid lane back battle be getting ganked on. By, I will dominate. Here's Chaucer to try and stop the push, but it's not going to be enough. And in the meantime, bot lane. Wow! I just not, cannot catch anything tonight. You know what? Let me just describe what happened there. Here, no, Don't... I can do better. We're going to rewind. We're going to rewind because the timeline is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, so in the mid lane, we saw... Let's see, Big Fat is right around here. Skara comes in, pushes up the wave. Big Fat jumps in. Explosive Cask is on Scar. I bet I know how this ends. Yep. There's the Explosive Cask and the Ignite allows I Will Dominate to get the kill and the bot lane. Double Lift barely evades a tower dive. And then the excellent two shot barrage picks up the kill. Did we miss anything? Oh, we missed something bottom, uh, you know, that death, but uh, something that we did not miss, and I was about to say, oh my goodness, go back to live, because Hotshot actually forced the Ghost away from a really great gank from Dominate. Now, they're just sitting Dominate top lane with Crumbs to try to get Crumbs back into this game, because they know what they have to do in this situation. If Crumbs cannot 1v1 Hotshot, that's going to mean that he can split push wherever he wants, and Crumbs can't do anything about it. And that's going to really, really help CLG, and not something Dignitas wants. So what Dignitas are going to do in response is they're going to put a lot of pressure top lane, push down that middle turret, and that's huge, because now it looks like they're going to go try to counter jungle. This Chouster is in the middle of that uh, blue buff, try to take it down. The zone comes out from Big Fat LP, but here comes in Draven and the toy yeah big fat lp getting chunked down very hard the stun misses but he walls i'm a cutie pie off nice defensive play and it doesn't look like they're going to be able to catch big fat whirling death was already used by i'm a cutie pie so not going to be able to pick that one up big fat really not having a good time right now the power of scara's gragas is so difficult to fight uh, especially compounded with those ganks from i will dominate yeah, something I want to talk about right now is the uh, the CS differential. You can see 
40 CS up, double lift monstrous in that lane. I was talking about a little bit earlier how Lulu actually did die a few times. I think she's actually, yeah, got taken down twice in a row and uh, even burning that flash a little bit prematurely. Not good, but why was she dying there? Because she was trying to give a huge zone for double lift to work with. So even though it's unfortunate that she did die, she did everything that she needed to to get double lift as far ahead as he is. He has two kills. He has 40 more CS than your bottom laner. Actually, it's, it's more like 20 or 35 right 35. now. So, yeah, not not too bad, but uh, that's still pretty freaking bad just because double lift with CS is not something you ever want to have happen. He has a BF sword and a phage, everything you could possibly want. The phage is pretty much double door ends, and then you put the uh, BF sword wow. on top, and it's just like bad damage, just way too much. And when you're out damaging a Draven, that's not really something you want to have to deal with. Top lane, Crumbs just battling out Hotshot. I don't think Crumbs can really trade with this Hotshot. Wow. Taking a lot of damage, but uh, just dishing it right back out. No, Crumbs has decided to max his Reckless Swing, something we haven't really seen a whole lot of recently, but Skara might be in trouble in the mid lane. Rupture going to miss. Just had a minion explosive cast to knock Big Fat LP away. Will ensure his life. Good use of the explosive cast, but that's going to be down for another 80 seconds. No attempts at Dragon have really been made yet. Uh, but with that Ionic Spark from Shen, he may be looking to push that top lane force crumbs to stick around and then use stand united to jump over to dragon when clg tries for it still though we're coming up on 16 minutes and still no dragon attempts why is that rapid you know uh, well, Dragon, not something traditionally CLG goes for, but really, they don't need to. Their plan is very focused, and it's all about, hey, later on, we want to have Shen able to split push, so they got him to the position where he's able to 1v1 like that hotshot dashing in the bush, <laughs> just to make sure nobody's there. But, uh, yeah, Crumbs back in base. So, see, things actually are looking pretty good for CLG, because they have the strength in their lanes that they need to make this pushing strategy work really, really well. And we're going to see it uh, come into a little bit more of a focus, but like you mentioned, that dragon, a lot of focus being uh, put here by Chowster, clearing out the area, looking for a gank that crystallized over the wall, going to reveal Dominate, so he's not going to get anything uh, too crazy happening, but a hot shot is built specifically for 1v1ing this Olaf, it's just way too much for him to handle, that's why Olaf is maxing Reckless Swings, you see Reckless Swings max when you know you're going to be in those duelist situations, if you max your axes, you're looking for wave clear and you're looking for catchability, not something that Crumbs is really too... Uh, too concerned with. He just knows he's gonna have to be able to kill Hotshot. Not something he can do unless he maxes that reckless swing. So uh, Hotshot doing a really good job in building that Doran shield heart of gold. Oh, it's double lift. Health. No, double lift. Actually not getting jumped on because I'm a cutie pie knocked very low. Now I will dominate. Whoa, there was the crescendo. Excuse me. Uh, out from put uh out to try from Patoy to try and defend himself. But double lift's damage just way too much at this point. I'm a cutie pie not in any place to try and stop this push. Not even going to bother using Whirling Death. Power will fall. There we go. Haley Minion yes. picking that one up. And now Skara looking to try and stop CLG doing Dragon. Shen is available to jump back down when he needs to. There is no interrupt. Uh, there is no interrupt from Crumbs. And so, yep, CLG going to pick that Dragon up. No problem. In the meantime, they are fighting. Ignite is down on the Hotshot. Reckless Swing once again. And the last auto attack from Crumbs going to pick him up. No problem. Still, though, that was Dragon in the end overall for CLG. Definitely unfortunate, though, that Crumbs at this point can solo Hotshot. Oscara and I will dominate are up here to try and push down this tower. I guess try to sort of recoup their losses for losing that Dragon, and they'll be able to take it absolutely no problem. Yeah, Berserker raised the Olaf passive, huge in that fight, just let him get so many auto attacks off, and even though he only has rank 1 Vicious Strikes, it was still just just enough to out damage uh, Hotshot, and so now that we have established Hotshot cannot 1v1 Olaf anymore, he went ahead and picked up Mercury Treads, but you're going up against Olaf, so that really doesn't help you almost at all. Uh, Olaf, in the meanwhile, picking up his Giant's Belt and a Kindle Gem as well. He's going to be going for Shrelia's, but also wants to get either a Warmog's or Frozen Mallet, one of those two. Um, Dignitas, really key, like you did point out, went top lane, three man that top turret, just because they knew they had to take it down. The, the ult comes off from Draven. He did not, unfortunately, steal away that blue buff. That went over to uh, Chouster, Chouster, it looks like, yeah. So he's yep. going to have that taken away for the second time, I believe, from Skara. Yeah, this game is rather even. I was looking a little bit earlier at the gold difference between the two 80 carries. It was 1,000 gold just a little bit ago. It's bumped up to 2,000. 
Double lift is extremely scary right now. I, every time I watch double lift, I am so ridiculously impressed. Early game, beating a Draven in damage is no mean feat. Oh, Hotshot, what are you doing? Uh, Hotshot sort of scooting around in the jungle, uh, getting a little bit too big, big for his britches. Gonna use the Stand United down in the bot lane on double lift to try and dive on the I'm a cutie, on, I'm a cutie pie. Stand aside misses, but they still decide not to go for it. They're just gonna continue chunking down this tower. Nice little shield from Loco Doco. Gonna keep double lift at very high health. He does have a Bloodthirster, a Phage, and a Zeal right now, and he's actually opted for Ionian Boots of Lucidity. That is not something that you usually see on Ezreal. Yeah, I mean, you can build almost any boots that you want on Ezreal, but double lift... Oh, here's Hotshot! Wow, the burst damage on Matoy is huge! Hotshot <laughs> going to pick up that kill. The taunt allowed... <laughs> Double lift to get the true shot barrage off just perfectly. Scar chunked very low as well. He's gonna have to back right next to his tower. And CLG are pushing this down so quickly. This is what I was talking about. The wave clear from the whole team is huge. And the tower sieging potential is just as massive. I'm a cutie pie getting chunked down. They want this kill. No, they can't get it. The, uh, the, uh, excuse me. It was. I always get them confused. Mystic shot did not quite land, and so they weren't able to get that kill, but this tower certainly will fall. No! The Absolute Zero being burnt from I Will Dominate to try and clear out the minion wave. Double if might be in trouble now, though. Whirling Death gonna land. Arcane shifts away. Where is the Explosive Cask? There's the Cleanse to help Double if get away from this one. A Hotshot might be in trouble. There is the Slow. He's gonna turn around, try to pick up I Will Dominate. Not enough, though. Skara getting a kill there, and there is the, um, the Song of Celerity. From Sona, try and pick up the kill on Double Lift. Double Lift is entirely out of mana. Loco Doco is very low as well. Has enough for probably one last whimsy. Body Slam oh, flashes flash. away from the Body Slam. And Loco Doco just barely going to get out of there alive with Double Lift. Hotshot GG in the end, falling for just too long of a tower push from CLG. And now Double Lift still might be in trouble because Double Lift is trying to take the minis. Now Loco Doco is in trouble. Nice explosive cast from Scar gonna lock him down. Exhaust goes out on Scar. Nice ultimate from Batoy gonna lock down Double Lift. He arcane shifts back under the tower, but here is Karam's reckless swing allows I will dominate to pick up that kill. Now he's gonna chase down Loco Doco. There's gotta be a good rupture. Nope. Crumbs going to get that one on poor, poor Lulu. Hiding under her hat in shame. And Crumbs is going to retreat to the safety of his team. Dignitas are not out of this game at all. It was just looking so good for CLG. They're pushing down bottom turrets. They get two of them. A double lift is just absolutely ridiculous. 200 CS, 50 CS over Cutie Pie with a Bloodthirster. Almost has his uh, Trinity Force too. And then Dignitas just turns it right back around because CLG just way overextended. They're like, hey, we're going to have a hot shot teleport in, blow up Sona. That's cool and all because we can take some turrets off of it, but they just stayed around and they waited for Scar to come back up and he was just able to continually body slam down, chasing them all the way down the lane to their secondary base turret. and uh, Or not base turret, but uh, secondary turret there in the bottom lane. And it's just so much great follow-up. The all comes off from uh, Cutie Pie to just kind of clear out that top wave and uh, Cutie Pie is doing okay has Infinity Edge which scales really well with his passive because it gives you more crits for more procs of Wicked Blades so it's going to help him out in that situation but uh, really not a whole lot uh, when you compare that to Double Lift he's just so far ahead and really with as the strongest double lift is that's just going to give them the uh the situation that they wanted you mentioned early on earlier on during the picks and bans it's like well what does clg have a lot of well they have wave clear and they have peel massive chaotic neutral peel here for clg <laughs> they can keep double lift safe and when he's as strong as he is keeping him safe I mean, if he was weak, keeping him safe doesn't matter. But because he's so strong, it just makes CLG's team composition just that much more impressive. Uh, Chowster waiting here inside the Baron Pit, just waiting for that ward. Gets placed down, so it looks like either Loco or... Uh, yeah, oh wow, Crumb's actually here in the middle of CLG. Double Lift gonna get jumped on. For force to blow his Arcane Shift away. Ooh. And uh, Loco Togo almost going down. The Explosive Cast comes out. Lulu Wild grows just in the nick of time. He's gonna live. No, Cutie Pie actually takes him down. The ult comes off from Double Lift. It's not enough. Crumbs lives with 52 HP. Chowster going to be forced to run away, but he's not going to be able to escape from Skara. He goes down, and Dignitas is absolutely all over the place. Hotshot, he can't even pick up a kill. He gets a two-man taunt here. Uh, double it for massive damage, but Skara wow. just runs in there. 
completely just fully combos him, it devastates him in all sorts of inappropriate areas. And now Big Fat LP <laughs> forced to flash away from Scar's body slam, which is also, I guess you can tell that slightly inappropriate. He flashes wow. the body slams back in. Excellent micro. Big Fat LP forced to pop his egg. And now he's going to go down. Look at that micro from Scar. Oh my goodness. That's a little bit intense, and as long as we're on the subject of inappropriate things, yeah, that whole situation right there, we're just not going to touch that, because basically Scar is the man, completely fully outplayed Big Fat there, and now that's going to give another dragon away to Team Dignitas. Holy cow, these guys are looking good. No, that was massive. Before the team fight started, I wanted to bring up the fact that Skara, he is getting really fed. You looked, uh, you compared him to Anivia. Anivia, she decided to pick up a Rod of Ages, I should say Big Fat LP decided to pick up a Rod of Ages, had Sword Shoes as well, and that Chalice of Harmony, but at that time, Skara had Sword Shoes and Rabadon's Death Cap and two Doran's Rings. The two Doran's Rings, you know, not quite as much, with the Rabadon's definitely going to increase the amount of AP that they give. Uh, but it's his damage output is just massive. Ooh, Crumb's being forced to burn Ragnarok in the meantime, though, ch though chunked down to half health before the fight even starts. CLG looking to be in a good spot. Dignitas keeps taking these team fights, but right now, CLG, they're in a very... Well, they're in a place to win the next team fight. If they can just land everything the way they need to, but Dignitas, like you were saying, the micro from Skara was massive. And his damage output is huge. The great ultimate from Sona locked down double if just long enough for the burst to finish him off. And that's what they need again. Dignitas needs to pick off double lift. I think they have the potential. I was talking earlier about the explosive cast from Skara. It can really separate a team, but CLG are going for this Baron. And I'm not sure there's much Dignitas can do. Crumb's getting in a lot of trouble. Forced to burn his ghost to get out of there. Loco Doko getting bursted down below half health. There's the Ice Blast. One last undertow <laughs> will be enough. Wild Girl to keep herself alive. And the last couple of auto attacks from I'm a Cutie Pie will pick up that kill. And now Dignitas. They are just turning this game around completely. This is all just based off of the incredible micro from all of them, showing exactly why I'm a Cutie Pie can pick up Draven with so much confidence, even from the massive CC from CLG. You know, Hotshot's gonna want to split push, but he cannot do that if Dignitas is all grouped up and is extremely strong, and it looks like as strong as they are, they're gonna push down that middle turret, and they're not gonna make the same mistake that CLG did. Even <laughs> Shirelia's away, just because they don't want to overstay their welcome, they don't want to let CLG respawn, have better items, and then come back and take them out. So they're gonna go ahead and back out and uh, spend all of the gold that they have accumulated. You got 2.5k on Scar right now, who's sitting at just above 9,000 gold. He's gonna spend that picking up a Void Staff death oh. cab combo that's a, a million damage and a few more <laughs> on top of that just because i don't even know like scar has been full comboing people without that void staff and now with that it's just gonna be that much more ridiculous i don't know man it's it's looking kind of rough i mean scar has just been doing the burst damage that you would expect to see out of the old school Deathfire's Grasp without that item just going for straight up massive damage and like I said Hotshot gonna try to split push he has that Ionic Spark for extra damage he has the Sunfire Cape for extra creep damage as well and it's gonna allow him to split push but like we said earlier Crumbs now that he has picked up Frozen Mallet Shirelius is gonna have a lot of strength to his Vicious Strikes which basically give him an extra 60 AD but uh, is that gonna be enough he does have he does not have teleport, rather, so he's not going to be able to TP in. Hotshot will be able to, and there it goes. Wow, they're standing at it in from Hotshot. trying to. They're going to try to stop this Baron. Double if does have red buff. If he, if he can just land a Mystic Shot on the Soma, they can chase them down. But CLG, very, very low right now. No explosive cast from Scar, but they are definitely going to get scared away by the huge damage output from Scar, and I'm a cutie pie. <laughs> CLG just can't do it. They cannot team fight right now. If they group up, they're just going to get separated by explosive cast. I'm a cutie pie is going to rip through everyone, but they might be in a bad spot though. Shirelia's being popped now. Hot shot may be in trouble. Crumbs jumping in on the Chouster actually. I'll be enough. Nice wall from Big Back on a lot crumbs away from the rest of the team. Nice hold in from Batoy. No lockdown Loco Doco. Pops the wild growth to keep himself alive. Now I will dominate his next target. Oh wow! An amazing true shot barrage from Double if gonna hit everyone. Scar though picking up Loco Doco at long last. Explosive cast going to miss double if. But there's I'm a cutie pie to finish him off. Actually, Patoy getting that one. And Big Fat LP Egg going to get some yolk all over his face. No, he's not flashing away for the safety. Flash cross not gonna land. Here's Hotshot jumping out on I'm a cutie pie. Cleanses away. But the silence from Chouster 
gets the kill. Feral scream just enough while Skara finishes off hot shot. Making him pay for his hubris just as he did earlier. Rupture going to land onto Patoy. No other sort of slowdown though. Red buff is applied on Patoy. Pops Trevelyas to get away because here comes Big Fat. Yep, he will be able to get away from that one. What a huge, huge engagement. Both teams really getting the engagement that they needed. And in the end, it ends up going pretty even. Neither team was able to manage to take Baron off of that. Yeah, and so CLG, I was about to comment that they don't really have a lot of damage. I mean, Chouster, not super high damage because he's just building full tank Cho'Gath. Lulu, not a lot of damage because, you know, she's support. And then Hotshot has some AoE damage and some overtime damage from Ionic Spark and Sunfire Cave. But Shen, not really one of those huge damage dealing champions like you think of. I mean, Keystrike's cool and all, but it doesn't really work like Olaf does. And then you look at Dignitas. What do they have for damage? They have Cutie Pie who's playing Drave and really high damage AD carry. You have Scar who's ridiculously strong, Crumbs who's super strong as well, even though he hasn't built a lot of damaging items, but uh, CLG's gonna try to go for this again and I don't think they can actually do that Scar has way too much poke, way too much strength behind his barrels for them to do this so CLG's gonna have to either split away from this or, uh, you know, try to catch somebody off, I mean, they do have double lift double lift is huge, 6 and 3, Trinity Force Bloodthirster and Ionian Boots of Lucidity so, looking to you know, have a lot of people watch him queue and I think that they're just gonna clear out Baron over and over again and make us wait a little bit longer. Dignitas not gonna have any of that. They're gonna wave clear out their lanes while the bottom is pushing for them or against them. And Ping's going off on a Baron right now by Dignitas, so they really want to either crush CLG at this objective, or just, uh, I guess they could opt to push down middle lane, and it looks like that's what Crumbs and Dominate, they're doing that th classic 3-2 split, if Cutie Pie can get up here, they're going to make sure that they don't get Baron, and then uh, either try to group up all the scumbag minions following them up around that direction. Dignitas is going to engage here, and I'm not really sure CLG can handle it. How do you feel about that for the Oracle? I mean, what what is Dignitas going to try to do? It looks like they're pushing mid, but is that the right call? Well, right now, they're really relying on Crumbs to jump in there and initiate for them, but right now, Crumbs is not in really a position to do that. Dignitas sort of scattered trying to take this tower. They are caught between a rock and a CLG. There's the stun on I will dominate to stop the engagement. Shirelli is being burnt. CLG just does not want to fight this. They know that they do not have the team fight potential that they need at this moment. Crumbs running face first into the whole team. Oh, a nice wall going to block him off. Might be able to do a little bit of damage, but from behind, here comes the entirety of Dignitas. This is exactly what they want. Sandy on to double lift. Might be able to keep him alive. I will dominate in a lot of trouble. Huge explosive cast. Going to knock double lift away, and there's going to be no damage left for him. Patoy out of mana and out of life. He is going to fall. Dignitas not able to get what they want. I'm a cutie pie. Going to get taunted, and hot shot getting that kill for himself thanks to the sunfire cape i believe uh, i think that's what did the killing blow actually dignitas just not able to do what they needed wow i thought that they had that but they got separated just way too quickly uh, wow what happened during that team fight i sort of want to go back and watch it one more time um, well, you, if they you, finish the game we might actually get the chance to clg they are going to shift down to this bottom inhibitor what happened rapid yeah, huge, huge recognition of positioning there by CLG. They recognize Dignitas said, okay, well, we don't want to dance around Baron, so we're just going to go push down middle lane. And so they pushed down middle, but CLG circled around behind them since they were at Baron. Now, then CLG recognized, hey, we have Shen split pushing top, so oh, we no. can stand here all day. Double lift is in a lot of trouble. Undertow doesn't land. Thanks to the nice arcane shift. I will dominate going to throw yet another ice blast on a double lift. Or, uh, excuse me, well, double lift throwing self on a double lift. That makes no sense. But I will dominate. Gonna continue slowing down just everyone. Loco Doco in a bad spot. Nice <laughs> wall and stun from Big Fat going to allow Hotshot and Loco Doco to get out of there safely. We are at 33 minutes. We have had a couple of really intense team fights, and still there is no Baron. However, Dignitas has two inhibitors down, and it looks like they want to go for a Baron of Desperation right now. If they do not get the Baron right now, the super minions that are moving to the base will, assure, will ensure that they can, but Chouser in a bad spot. There's the absolute zero, and he is not going to drop. There's the undertow. Last auto attack from Rami Cutie Pie. Going to get that kill, and now Dignitas going to yeah. quickly move in on this Baron. Super minions are moving down into this bot lane. Not quite yet. They haven't quite reached it. Sun goes out onto Skara. Nice bit of burst damage 
from Big Fat. I'm a cutie my pie. Might be in trouble now, though. There's the polymorph. Shirelli is out from Patoy because they have finished Baron. Nice stun going to land. An excellent true shot barrage gonna land on, on Patoy, and I will dominate Hotshot. Not quite able to get over the wall. Great explosive cast gonna catch double if he's just not gonna be able to do a whole lot there. In the end, Dignitas going to get out of this one. It looks like. One for oh, and with Baron though, Crumbs might be in a little bit of trouble getting caught out by Loco Doco and Hotshot. Going to get slow, but there is the Ragnarok. So he's not slowed, in fact. He is immune to all CC. Even if that sun landed, it wouldn't matter because, again, Ragnarok was going, but that is down. And it looks like CLG with the minion advantage. Super minions pushing into Dignitas's base. They want to go for this last inhibitor. Dignitas is not looking good for Dignitas right now, even though they just got Baron. And uh, even with that Baron, they still can't stop CLG from continuing to push in there. They try to keep them from going back, and even still look at how much CLG just disengages. They did cut off, uh, well, a couple people with that wall, but really it's all about how fast can they run away. And Dignitas just has no answer for that. They have the Blood Boil from Nunu. That's cool. There's, oh. They're going to try to Shirelli's again. Yep, Cleanse out from Double Lift. Going to keep him safe. I will dominate. Looking for the slow ball onto Double Lift, but Nice Wall is going to catch him out, and then True Shot Barrage gets the kill. Ooh, Barrel Roll doing a lot from Skara. And in the end, a little bit of poke damage for a kill. Not quite what you want, especially at this point, with Super Minions pushing down into the base. Chalcer is trying to stop him, but no, the Super Minions are just too much. Wow, the same United from Hotshot going to barely keep Double Lift alive. And now, Crumbs might be in a tight spot. Nice taunt down onto I'm a Cutie Pie. He is in a lot of trouble right now. A wild growth keeps him alive as Big Fat picks up the kill on I am a Cutie Pie. This inhibitor is still alive, but it's not going to be that way for long. I do not think one Nexus Tower did go down. Now Chowser in a lot of trouble. Crumbs going to chase him down. Crumbs is almost entirely, he is entirely out of mana. Ooh, the Polymorph can help turn this around though. Nice rupture. Chowser just needs a feast, but it is not available. It's already been used. Exhaust goes down. All we need is one Glitter Lance. No, he gets onto the altar. But in the meantime, another True Shot Barrage coming out from Double Lift. Those Ionian Boots really paying dividends. CLG taking down the second Nexus Tower. I'm a Cutie Pie is coming back in 22 seconds. Most people from CLG are incredibly low. Chaos are going to be the next focus, I think. Well, I will dominate getting completely chunked down. Double Lift going to get that kill there. CLG, doesn't matter if they're low. They can just fight at such a distance. Now Crumb's going to try to poke them off of the Nexus is being hit. There it goes. CLG taking the first game of this best of three set to become, they are one step closer to becoming the Rocket Kings of the Hill this week. Is it Kings of the Hill or King of the Hills? I always kind of wonder what was going on with that. But you know what? What's going on with this is huge performances from CLG. You notice the end game score is 16-16-38 to 16-16-39. So great.